Welcome to this free lecture. This lecture is taken from my ZBrush full anatomy and character creation course. Details of this course can be found now. If you like what I'm doing here, um, visit the page, check it out, see if you like it and take the course. Okay guys, in this lecture what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we can create a clay build up brush that will only put build up in a valley of the model. So what I've got here is a Dynamesh sphere. This is on 432, so it's fairly high res. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and put some masking in here to create two um, peaks with one valley. So let's just mask that off and let's just use something like the move brush here and pull this up to form a kind of valley down there. Okay, I'm gonna unmask it, I'm gonna re mesh it, and then just to make it look nice, we're just gonna go around and polish it out. Now remember, when you actually uh, smooth things out at the higher resolutions, it takes a lot more work to actually knock it back. And this is a good reason why we actually start with low poly and we start to add these um, this density to the Dynamesh later, and that even goes with subdivision levels. You start nice and low, and it's nice and easy to polish things back. Okay, so let's have a look now at our clay build-up brush. Now with our clay build-up brush at the moment, if we go and we start to put stuff across here, you're gonna see that it puts it across it all. And this is a, a little bit of a pain because, um, you know, you might wanna add subtlety to it. Now there is the point we could take the Z intensity down, and start to draw that in to sort of fill that out but it's a little bit kind of weird now also the brush because of the standard clay tubes has got this square alpha which gives this kind of square result which is good if you look at this brush here clay build up this is a custom brush that I did and it's actually got a round alpha so to actually create one with a round alpha what we can do is we can actually just set up a new brush so I'm going to show you how we kind of set up this clay build up to brush so I can come down here and I can I can actually create a new brush so I can click clone and this will clone this brush now what it means is I can come into here and I can select something like the alpha 6 brush see it says clay build up underscore one so now I've got this round alpha when I start to draw on it it's a lot smoother okay almost like the standard brush apart from it's nice and flat on the top which is good for sculpting unfortunately we have still got this problem that if I go over um, it still goes in and out it doesn't really go in the valleys I mean I can do this and it gives a fairly good result but we want to get a better result than that so we have to look at what the brush is doing and the brush is actually just applying it um, sort of below and above on the actual curve of it but if we come into down here to brush and we look at this depth what we can do is we can change that depth and make it on the zero now if we go lower we might have a problem. I'm going to change that depth to the zero now. So watch what happens now when I start to drawing here. You're going to see it's much better. I can build that volume up in that little um, valley much easier and then smooth it off. Now this is going to be really good for things like the spine area or where you've got tight close geometry close to each other and you just want to fill out that middle area. So this brush will be extremely useful for that. So now that we've created that brush we could also go and check out what happens if we take the depth right down. So if I take this depth right down and then I start to do it you're going to see that you haven't got anything happening. It's because it's not deep enough. So if we had a real valley in there, you might start getting it to show. But I find that actually having it on zero is the best method here. Now also, adversely, if we bring the brush right up, you're going to see it will only hit the high points um, more than the low points. Although it doesn't work that well with this particular brush. But that's just something to bear in mind. So I'm going to set this on zero, and this will be our kind of clay valley. So I'm gonna save this brush out. Now we've set that, I'm gonna come into brush and I'm just gonna go save as. So what I can do now is I can save this. You're gonna see that it's got automatic going my presets. So next time I open ZBrush up, it will be in there. So I'm gonna go clay build up and then I'm gonna go valley. You can call it valley depth, whatever you like. And I'm gonna hit save. So now I've got that brush and it's in here clay build up valley 
I can go and select it here and I can add it to my menu down here if I wanted to by going into preferences, config, enable customize, coming to the brush, down here, press that control alt, drag this down into here, like that, release, go back up to preferences, disable enable customize, I would just store config and click OK. Okay, so that's all you need to do. So now if I exit out of ZBrush, like that, and restart ZBrush up, like this, you're now gonna see that we have the clay build up valley. And let me just bring something in, a sphere, I'm gonna go straight into edit mode, make that a poly mesh 3D. Take this up to about 500, hit Dynamesh, and we have this brush down here. So I can now do a valley of this. Let me just clean up a section of it. Use the move here, just to move this out. Redynamesh. Bit of cleanup. Choose this valley brush now. Bring this down with quite a lot of focal shift. And now I can start to put volume in there in just that valley area. Do you notice? So that's how we can create this brush that allows us to actually only put material inside of two valid edges. Very handy brush. Um, I have this one here which is default, which just works on the round. But you can see the difference between the two. So this is a really good brush to have. We're also going to show you later how we can add this brush to a pop-up palette so you've got access because you can start getting overfilled down here. You'll also notice if you come in here and we go to the clay build up that we're also going to have that brush inside of here. There it is, there. And that's because we save this brush out inside of ZBrush 2020 Startup Brush Presets. And you'll see I've got two in there. I've got this clay build up two, which is here, and I've got this clay valley one, which is here. So in this folder, I've actually only just got two custom brushes set up, but this is gonna grow as we add more in, in next lecture. So that is the clay build up valley brush. Also how to save it onto the desktop, how to save it onto the UI there, and also how to save the brush out and make a copy of an existing brush. Oh, one last thing I want to show you just before I go is to how to actually make a icon for it. As you can see, the clay valley brush and the clay build up have got the same icon. So I want to be able to create my own. So we're going to do that now. All we need to do is to go in and make sure we create a sphere. And I'm going to add some subdivision levels, but I've got to go into edit mode first and into make poly mesh 3D. So inside under here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some subdivision levels like this, so it's nice and smooth. And I'm gonna go in and make sure that I put this into Dynamesh at about 550, something like that. Hit the Dynamesh buttons and say, no, I don't wanna freeze the levels. Um, so that's all good. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do my mask. And this is gonna be how we see it when it's an icon. So I'm gonna go in here like this, and I'm just gonna move this up. You can do what you like. You can do multiple versions if you want to, it's up to you. So I'm gonna do a nice valley like that so I can kind of see it and then I'll unmask it I'll just redynamesh it now and I'll just go in and just give it a little bit of a clean up something like that and then I can just use the brush on it so clay build up brush uh, valley brush go in here and I can just add a little bit of material in there to show that's what the brush does now to actually turn this into an icon I put it to a basic material like that and I do something like this. I just sort of put it on here and press F. And then I just zoom out a little bit so it's in the middle. And what you can do is with the cut, with the build up brush done here, we can come into this brush and we can go select icon. So in here, select icon. And you're now going to, oh, hold on. I need to come in here and press Alt and hit select icon. Hold Alt and hit select icon and it will grab that image in there. 
So now, because I've already created that brush, I just need to save it as again. So I'm gonna save it as over the top of the Clay Build Up Valley brush there. Click yes, and then I've got that brush saved. So that's how to do it. So next time I load it up, I'm gonna have that little icon there. So that's how to create an icon for a brush as well.